You like that? Whoa. That's nice. Pretty cool. Did Uncle Andrew do the guitar Who work on that? that? No, man. That's some that's some free music right there from uh from Apple. Uh oh. Oh wow. Yes. Yep. And who, who little, did the graphics? Uh I did that uh using Canva, canva.com oh. and stuff. So oh. it's pretty cool. You got some it's cool awesome. tools out there. They sell cars and they do graphics. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's graphic cars, dude. Nice. That's right. Yep. So, uh, so welcome everybody to our first uh, linger longer. I uh, just wanted to, yeah, that's it. That's uh, we doing something a little, a little different, a little additional here. And uh, for this first one, just kind of wanted to let everybody know why and 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 what we're doing. Uh, some behind the scenes we end up we ended up getting together uh in the studio uh last week and uh had some discussions over you know where, where this podcast is heading what are we wanting to do with it are we wanting to to grow it are we wanting to do more things and uh and as a result we you know talked about our, our why uh and uh we all kind of have our maybe own little individual whys but uh but a, a, as a group you know, we, we have a desire to, to, to share the gospel, uh, to share good things, to, to help everybody experience gospel growth in good times. And, and we can definitely do that uh, through our podcast, but we're also looking for uh, additional ways to do that. Um, and so we've decided to try and add a uh, little extra discussion forum here where we may be more willing to discuss topics uh in a wide variety it may be gospel related it may be may be politically uh related it may be sports related it may be cultural it may be moral issues what what whatever it is um but we we welcome you uh to this and hope you get something out of it saints unhinged saints <laughs> unhinged. that's right yeah that's country fried saints. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so the the word strive. Okay. Do you know what that def what 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 definition comes to mind when you hear that word to strive or to be striving? Uh, forward movement with effort. Okay. Yeah, I think of it as put putting forth effort um, in the face of of obstacles or things that would make the effort difficult. You know, yeah. Continuing, continuing to push forward. I also think uh, of it when, you know, they changed a lot of the temple recommend questions and put in the word strive. Do you strive to be honest? I think strive indicates that and allows for um, um, failing, right? Yeah, I, I want to be honest all the time, but dadgummit, sometimes I'm just not, right? Or I want to do good all the time, but sometimes I just mess up. So I think striving allows us to to um, to be okay when we mess up as long as we get back up and we're trying to do better, right? But it allows the mess up. Not the, you know, that's, to me that's what it helps yeah. to do. Absolutely. So mm -hmm. I think all three of you are are dead on in kind and looking up the definition. Uh, two definitions were given to make great efforts to achieve or obtain something and then to struggle or fight vigorously. Yep. Right. You know, sometimes our children will talk about, well, you know, you ask them to do something. Well, I, I'll try to. Well, you know, you, you're either going you're either going to do it or you're not going to do it. Right. <laughs> so. So. So we, we, we Man, I've like got to in my office. I, I wrote, I've got to sign up in my office at work. This Yoda. It says do or do not. Absolutely. I mean, it's silly, but I actually look at it and it helps me because I have to I have to remind myself of that sometimes. Like, it, what am I going to do? And I can't tell myself, oh, I'll try to do this. Like, no, dude, you're going to do it or you're not going to do it. Make That's right. And, yeah. And, do. yeah. And, and, and to Michael's point, the striving allows for the failure. Yes. Right. Because we right. can ultimately strive to do something and fail. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're, we're in the, we're in the, we're, we're fighting vigorously. We're going through the struggle and we are striving to obtain uh, whatever it is, what we're striving for. Um, in this aspect, we're, you know, striving to become all that our Heavenly Father wants us to become in this life and, and, and in the next. 
And so, so establishing like trying to build a strivers community, right. Or a striving community uh, of saints of Latter-day Saints and those that want to, to join in and putting more, more good out, out in the world. Uh, if you want, I'll share a story with you real quick. Okay. About your striving. I was just right. remembering it. I shared yeah. it with the uh, young men not too long ago. Are y'all familiar with a guy named Jack Dempsey? Yeah, yeah. A uh, boxer. Mm-hmm. Um, so Jack Dempsey um, was originally, I believe, born in West Virginia. Uh, in fact, check me on this. But I think it was West Virginia was where he's born. But then soon thereafter, moved out to Manassa, Colorado um with his family his dad was kind of a farmer coal miner just did kind of what he needed to do to get by kind of deal um his parents joined the church he did too actually he was a member of the lds church um he said he wasn't a very good member though but he uh, also said he prayed before every single meal that he could think of his whole life so for what it's worth uh he had a poor upbringing rough life what have you he ended up being about and learned how to box from his brother um he learned, I heard a story that he learned, he practiced boxing in in an old chicken coop because it would be so cold and snow everywhere uh, that they would go out to the chicken coop um, and, and, and practice boxing. And because it was, you know, a chicken coop, it was not very tall and mm-hmm. it was something like just over four feet tall. So he was crouched down the whole time. Mm-hmm. Uh, so by any standard measure, a poor excuse of a boxing gym right he put pine pine what do you call it pine tar or whatever like chew on that and he'd clinch down on and have his brother punch him in the face uh just mm. to toughen his jaw up right things like that and then uh i think at 16 he was a teenager at any rate but i think at 16 um he left home on the railroad just a hobo just town to town to get by and he found out pretty quick that life was tough and he would uh he would fight he would box he would fight money just enough to eat and sleep in a hotel and um he there was a quote i have to try to pull it up but he talks a little bit about that but um anyway let me fast forward in the story here in 1919 he'd worked his way up and and had earned a title fight against a guy named jess willard who was six inches taller 10 inches more reach and 60 pounds heavier. He was the wow. world heavyweight champion at the time. Um, Jess Willard had killed a man in the boxing ring a few years prior. And by everyone's standard, Jack Dempsey stood no chance. Mm-hmm. In 1919, 4th of July, I remember that. 4th of July, I think it was Toledo, Ohio. Um, they go to box. And Dempsey boxed different. He had this crouching style. Um, maybe from the chicken coop, he had a tough jaw and he did this thing they called the Dempsey roll and he would duck, um, Willard's monstrous punches and step in toward the giant and just punch him. And he would punch with everything. He would lean onto that front foot, basically falling forward. And the only thing to stop him from falling over was his fist on Jess Willard's jaw and knocked the giant down seven times in the first round Mm. Mm. broke Willard's jaw messed him up and Willard couldn't get up after the third round Jack Dempsey became the world heavyweight boxing champion and ignited the boxing sport in the United States and the world after that just incredible but the thing one of the things he said I'll try to look up that other quote for you in a second but one of the, sh- the short things he said was, this is going back to your striving thing. In boxing, you don't lose when you hit the mat. You lose when you don't get back up. I like Man, that. you can take some hits. You can That's get right. knocked down, but you don't lose until you don't get back up. So hit the mat. You're going to fail. You're going to make mistakes. Get back up. I like that. That's uh, probably a good place to send us out right there so Michael can get on the road and get back, get in bed. Well, here, I got the quote. I, pull, I pulled it up real quick. Ready? All right. Yep. When I was a young fellow, I was knocked down plenty. I wanted to stay down, but I couldn't. 
I had to collect the $2 for winning or go hungry. One fight I was knocked down seven times, but I got up and I won that fight. I had to get up. I was one of those hungry fighters. You could have hit me on the chin with a sledgehammer for $5. When you haven't eaten for two days, you'll understand. Mm. Stay hungry. Stay hungry. Stay in the fight. Get I like up. That. That's, good. That's good stuff right there. For sure. Mm. Thank you, Average Joe. Yep. Boom. And nothing least, average about that at all. No. Always providing them good stories for sure. Um, that, that, the other thing I wanted to mention, I actually meant to mention this on the regular podcast because it, it, it applies to the regular podcast, but I, but I have activated, uh, or I had my, my trusty sidekick, my son helped me activate the super thanks and, uh, and we'll, we'll end up getting this out there. So anybody can go on and they're watching, there's a, there's an option to give a super thanks and you can, you can donate anywhere from a dollar ninety nine to 499.99 uh for for just for just it's a one time it, it, that way it's not a subscription based right it's just mm -hmm. hey appreciate what you're doing here's a couple of bucks keep after it right right so, it, uh, so it doesn't so, have to be a subscription it's just a once mm -hmm. once only or once every only now or, or whenever or you feel like it exactly exactly and uh we call so, that a love offering in the south it's love, love offering. <laughs> <laughs> that's right Yep. So we would uh, appreciate that uh, very much as well. You know, and doing doing all of this, I mean, it. We we are all, you know. I mean, we're, we're, we're obviously we're not looking to to get rich, but we like to be able to use funds. I was listening hey, to a podcast today. I want I'd to like to be able to break even. I mean, really. I mean, because well, we, we're, we're all investing whole right not now. only our time but our own money into this. Yeah. All there. All these things cost money. So yeah. Yeah. I'd love to be able to just break even and be able to do it without any expense to us. That yeah. would be wonderful. Yeah, and allow us to, to reinvest in, in, into what we are doing because we, I mean, we pay for a subscription to StreamYard, we pay for a subscription mm -hmm. to to, to uh, Buzzsprout, uh, we we you know pay pay for the equipment and, and would be able to eventually like to be able to offer you know uh, more things. Um, so, uh, I was listening to a podcast today where the guy was talking about this exact thing and you know charging people for things like that, and and also you know doing good and offering services. Uh, and helping build people up. He says, look, he says, uh, mother Mary didn't put meals on the table and feed hundreds and thousands of people with, uh, with, 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 with no money. Right. Right. The, the, the money is the necessary evil, right. That, that, that we have to deal with in order to be able to do things, you know, uh, well, look at the church. Right, right now, church is in the news for buying a huge industrial complex for 144 million dollars down in South Florida in Miami, mm -hmm. you know, and they're getting a lot of a lot of uh, negative feedback about what are you doing buying an industrial complex down in South Florida, right? And uh, church has their things, and they they've got a mission that they are moving forward with, and it's not just collecting tithing and setting themselves up. They're, I mean, they're they're preparing for the for the future, in, yeah. in Southern Florida, in Southern Florida, all, all over the all over the place. They they I got. I already got. I got. Um, I got my deed in the mail. I have a small tract in that industrial park. Do you? Did nice. You, did you guys? Oh. Did you guys get yours we, yet? We we <laughs> no, we missed that man. And if none of you got yours yet. Something about watching a video or something first. I couldn't remember. All right. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. That's what. That was the key. That was the key. <laughs> yeah. No, but did you know that the interesting little trivia bit there that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints is right now the single largest landowner in the state of Florida? Yeah, knew that. Even yeah. before the industrial park, they were yes. still the yeah, single largest. That even, yes, it was. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, when we lived down there, we used to the the kids used to do um, every fourth year or whatever for a youth conference. They would do the Pioneer Trek, and they would mm -hmm. they would go down to the some of the church's land down there and just hike across it for days. So that's cool. That's awesome. Yeah. All righty. Well, we will bring our first linger longer to a close. And uh, I guess win this one the same way. Y'all keep on striving. <laughs> I don't know. Got to come up with another tagline for the linger longer, right? I don't think All so. Right. I think that's good. Uh, you think that's good? Yeah. Right. Pass the chicken. 
That's right. <laughs> Where's the funeral potatoes? <laughs>